Hello, so we're going to review topics five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so first question number one What jobs need university education? So, what jobs need potřebou vzdělávání vysoký školský vzdělání? Well, to be a surgeon, chirurg, a lawyer, a pilot maybe, special training, teacher, what else, um, architect, and so on. Okay, number two, what are the highest paid jobs, paid? Zaplacený. So the highest paid jobs, I think, are the CEO. So the CEO is the chief executive officer, the boss, the big boss. And who else is paid well? Um, you have doctors, dentists and also anesthetist or um, managers, CEOs. Okay, so third question. What is the most important when choosing a job? So what is the most important thing? Is it the pay or the work you do or the people, the place? Flexible working hours. I think flexible working hours are good. You can work from home or you can work when you want. I think the pay is important. The, the type of work or the kind of work. If it's, if it's work you like. Okay, so what is important for you? Could be the holidays. And that's the next question. Uh, how many weeks holidays should you get in your job? Well, I think you should get lots of weeks of holiday, but I think typically it's five or six. So if I say maybe um, six would be quite nice, six weeks. Um, that would be okay for me. Now let's look at the next slide. So hobbies. Okay, so the first question is, what things do people collect? So be right. So people collect. What do you think? Of, what can you think of? You can think of stamps, coins, mince, um, maybe beer mats, and maybe rocks. What other things? Okay, maybe postcards. So, uh, what hobbies are good for your body and mind? Okay, well, for your body, definitely uh, sports, sports, uh, things like hiking, walking in the countryside. And for your mind, well, reading, maybe playing a musical instrument. Okay, so what are the most dangerous hobbies? Third question. So most dangerous, mainly by special issue. So uh, they are probably um, things like ski jumping or maybe hang gliding when you are flying um, in the air and what else bungee jumping bungee jumping also can be a bit dangerous right so um, last question what activities number four what activities have you done this month so what have you done this month so here is uh, done, do, did, done. It's the 
the third subtractive third uh, form. So what have you done this month? I have, for example, I have swum. I have um, played, for example, chess, or I have um, hiked, or I have maybe sung. Okay, so use the third form. And then last topic is what travel. So what holiday destinations did you visit last summer? So I have visited different places, different countries, Croatia, for example, Croatia, England. Okay, so which places have you been to? Croatia. And what did you do there? So in England, what did I do in England? Um, so this is number two. And I I visited my friends and family. Um, you can go sightseeing, sightseeing. Okay, looking at sites, um, and the third question, what is the farthest destination you have traveled? So farthest, Nedelshi. so farthest destination. So I have traveled to Australia. So I've traveled to Australia. And it took me about 30 hours. And how did I get there? Well, I got there by plane. So by plane. Okay. Now that was the fourth question. So remember we have past tense here. How did you get there? And here is the present perfect tense have traveled. Okay, so Next topic, last topic. So if you could be an animal, what animal would you be? Would you be? So I would be, maybe I would be a giraffe. Okay. Eating the leaves on top of the trees with my tall, long neck. Okay, next. Uh, do you think, do you think cats and dogs have feelings like we do? Uh, feelings, but said this. So, yes, I do. So they can feel. Uh, they can feel, maybe sadness, happiness, maybe excitement, fear. They can feel scared. Okay, so. Um, right. Okay, so do some animals have a sixth sense? So sixth sense, Shesti Smissor. I think they do, yes. I think maybe elephants maybe would have a sixth sense. Um, maybe some birds. So they feel when danger is coming, maybe. And why do we say cats have nine lives? Well, because uh they always uh, escape danger okay they escape danger they land when they fall they land on their four paws okay so that's it goodbye for now